taking to social media to defend Charlie D'Amelio after she was trolled for this honestly ridiculous reason. Let's get into it. Charlie D'Amelio's latest internet controversy is once again proving that trolls will be trolls. It's safe to say that Charlie D'Amelio has been met with more than her fair share of public scrutiny since first skyrocketing to fame on TikTok, but this latest incident just might be the haters' most absurd yet. You see, Charlie took to TikTok earlier this month for a collaboration with the popular snack brand Takis, where she can be seen dipping the chips into various dips and spreads. And yes, believe it or not, trolls seriously found a way to slam Charlie for the way she ate the chips. Yep, literally just eating chips. TikTok users immediately flooded Charlie's comment section with haters not holding back when it came to criticizing Charlie for the way she ate or pronounced certain words in the video. This person commented on the post writing, Bestie just bit in and called it a day, referring to how Charlie didn't eat the full chip in one go while on screen. And this user joked about Charlie's facial expressions, writing, she did not like any of them. This troll also roasted Charlie for the way she pronounced the word queso, commenting, why you say queso like that? Like, come on, seriously people, it's 2022. But thankfully, fans came to defend Charlie with some taking to Instagram to fire back at trolls for their seriously unnecessary hate. On IG, this user said what we were all thinking, writing, now we're hating on people for eating a certain way? And this person responded, like damn, I don't even got TikTok and I know y'all be hating. Honestly, where is the lie? And finally, this fan dropped a major truth bomb commenting, now people are just bullying at this point, chill. Obviously, TikTok isn't known for being the kindest, most welcoming social media platform, but I think we can all agree that this latest batch of criticisms toward Charlie and her brand collab were seriously uncalled for. As you may recall, Charlie actually opened up about the toll that internet fame has taken on her mental health in her family's Hulu reality TV show last year. Charlie got candid about cyberbullying while speaking with Us Weekly shortly after the Demilios was released, saying it's obviously inevitable to see negative comments. She went on to add, I try not to let the negative ones get to me and I only respond now to the positive ones because I would rather draw more attention to positivity and let the people that leave me negative comments know that they're not going to get a response, you know? Say it louder for the people in the back. For now, we're just hoping that Charlie doesn't allow these trolls toxic energy to follow her into the new year because seriously, it's so obvious haters will do anything to bash on anyone's success. But at the end of the day, it seems like Charlie wasn't too frazzled by the whole thing and is just continuing to live her life. And to be honest, good for her. We hope that Charlie will continue to bring only good vibes into 2022 and will ignore all the trolls in the process. Now go ahead and click right over here for the full rundown on fellow TikTok star Bryce Hall's crazy run-in with the home intruder. Then hop to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on Charlie's latest trolling incident. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.